activities in the future generation for the future generation in the future time that can be the problem that can be the problem for the future generation to fulfill their needs and demands at that time there can be the problem in fulfilling fulfilling their basic needs their, they they can't face their lifestyle they can't gain stability in their lifestyle because they will lack what means and resources at that time so while using means and resources we have to become careful what is necessary? Careless, uh, carefulness is very necessary carefulness is very much necessary at the time of using means and resources dear students in the same way social justice is here it gives the social justice it means this development focuses on public participation. This is a development for all, not for single caste, single religion, single individual, single group, tribe, and this that. It has never uh, talked about it has never touched about any of the discrimination any of the discrimination it has always supported equality and equity it believes that public participation is the best tool for the development of any place and you better know where there is the public participation at that place there is the harmonious relationship what type of harmony relation what type of relationship harmonious relationship there is mutual respect mutual support among what among whom among all the member of that places and this is also the development which focuses on social justice. It never discriminates any of the people on the basis of caste, gender, religion, region, this that, color. Yeah, it has never discriminated any of the individual because it maintains social justice. What does it maintain? It maintains social justice. Where? Where sustainable development is adopted. In such place where sustainable development is adopted, there is always the presence of social justice. In the same way, my dear students, we have next objective of sustainable development that is, it gives human development and progress. Whatever the changes, either the, that is positive and progressive, whatever the change is brought up in that place, that is only for the progress and development of whom? Of whom? Of human. Of human. As I have said earlier in poverty elevation, that it provides a different opportunity. It provides different opportunity to whom? To the member of that place for raising their standardity in their lifestyle. So, whatever the changes which, is, which has brought up by the sustainable development in any certain area is for the human development and progress. It means to aid standardity, to aid, to glorify, to maintain the comfort and ease in the lifestyle of human beings of that certain place, of that certain region. So these are some of the objectives of sustainable development. We have some more. You can have your book and other other places also. In the same way, 
If we come to discuss about the features of sustainable development, then we have some of the features of sustainable development which is mentioned here. So, please listen. It manages the resources and means in the proper way. As I have talked in the, its objective, its feature is nearly similar. Its feature is nearly similar to its objective. So dear students, if you have learned, if you have learned what? If you have learned the objectives of sustainable development, the features of sustainable development will become easier to write to you people. Yeah, so uh, it uh, manages the resources and means in the better way, in the proper way. Because it changes, it focuses where to use only such amount of means and resources which is required. Don't waste means and resources. Never misuse means and resources haphazardly. Never misuse that. Leave it, make it remain for the future generation too. That should be left for whom? For the future generation also. For fulfilling their needs at that time. So, its first features is that sustainable development manage resource and means in a sustainable way. In the sustainable way that use whatever the need is today, use that much and remaining should be left for the future time, for the future use, for the future generation. Next, if such amount of means and resources is left for the future generation, in the future time, future generation will get that resources and they will also conduct, they will also practice, they will also adopt such type of changes, such type, they will also bring up different types of development in their area, in their place, by utilizing the remaining means and resources. And this tells that if, if, it, if it happens, the future of the future generation will be bright. What will become the future of uh, future, future generation? The future of future generation will become bright when, when there is a sustainable management of means and resources. When there is the proper management, when there is the proper utilization, when there is the proper use of means and resources in the, dev at the development time, in such condition, the future of the future generation will be bright. It means they can also utilize the remaining resources in that time. So their future can become bright. Dear friends, as I have earlier said that it focuses on the environment conservation, its features that is that it works. It works by utilizing the environment, by utilizing the nature. As I have told you people in the definition time that it never harms the environment, it never damages the nature. Its aim, its objective is to conserve environment. Conserve environment. It uses the nature. It uses different types of means and resources required amount. In the required amount from the nature. And it also adopt, it also hold different types conservation program, conservation camp again, plantation is done by the workers of develop, sustainable development. Yes, if sustainable development is adopted in any place, if one place is cleaned up, in other place 
there is the afforestation program plantation program is done yes it helps to conserve the land conserve the forest conserve water resources i mean to say it also focuses on the environment conservation in the same way we have next features of sustainable development that its focus its focus always become that there should be such type of progressive change which will encourage which will uplift which, will, which should uplift the economic growth of that place in a higher and wider way in a higher and wider way it means there should be the property elevation program with the help of sustainable development it means it means whatever the change it has brought up by sustainable development helps to uplift the economic growth in a higher and wider way i mean to say it helps to maintain the living standardity of the people of that place of that area of that region in the same way there is the proper utilization proper mobilization of means and resources of that place it means in sustainable development its aim it focuses where in the proper mobilization of means and resources so these are the features of sustainable development these are the objectives of sustainable development and this is the definitely definition in this where we can study we have one more topic that is dimension of sustainable development we'll discuss after us after few seconds uh, if you want to copy it please copy